Hey you guys, it's Clovis and I'm gonna talk to you guys about guests prefer more intense rides. Uh, this literally means that guests prefer more intense rides, but obviously the challenge is making high intensity designs that aren't too ridiculously high. Because if you make a ride too intense, then the excitement rating tanks. There's actually a really easy trick you can do for this. So I'm gonna pick North America Extreme Hawaiian Island. This is Wacky World, it's one of the last scenarios, and if you actually look on the ride it says People of Hawaii are bored of surfing and are looking for something more intense. Uh, so yeah, it's telling you that they prefer high intensity rides. So this means if you try and build anything like normal, like if you just try to build I don't know, like a mini roller coaster, like a really basic design, it's not going to do anything for you. Um, but what you can actually do is uh, there's, if you take, if you manage to build a coaster, and the lateral G's are between 2.8 and 3.1, you get like, I don't know if the intensity is doubled, but you get a spike of like 4 or 5 intensity, and it just turns any normal design into a high intensity design uh, without tanking the ride too hard. So I'm actually just going to demonstrate this by building a shuttle design. Just this shuttle design, and then I'll explain a bit more how it works. I don't really need to actually do the paths and open any of this, but... So, let's launch this a bit slow, like, so that it just barely makes this inversion here. You notice this is an unbanked turn, right? And then we'll get the stats here. A pretty low, pretty low stats. The reason why, by the way, if you don't know this, you should already know this, that these stats are good when this coaster is obviously a piece of crap is because if you have an inversion in the corkscrew coaster it just um, thinks like you know that you get no penalties it just calculates as if it's a good ride and doesn't penalize you whatsoever um, which is kind of the point of the shuttle design if we make the uh, coaster go a bit faster if we make it go at the the right speed you see the intensity's up because the max lateral g's are higher but what we want is we just want the sweet spot. It's obviously a lot easier to control. There we go. It's a lot easier to control when you're launching something because you know the exact speed you're going at. But you can see now that we're above 2.8 lateral Gs, the intensity rating has spiked massively and the other stats are still pretty much the same. Uh, sometimes it's actually possible for this to increase the excitement rating because it's not being decreased yet at all. And according to the stats, it's like a good ride. And of course, if you make... If you make the ride way too fast, uh, I'm literally just going to put it at max and test it because that's like the best way to do it. You will see that the, uh, yeah, the lateral G's are just so high. Four lateral G's <laughs> um, when it's doing that banked, uh, unbanked turn. In that the, the intensity is so high that it's actually probably even like way higher than the guests actually uh, want to ride. And the excitement is super, super low which means that you would be able to charge a lot less for a ride like this, and this is just outright terrible. So my suggestion is to make sure your max lateral Gs are between 2.8 and 3.1, and then your ride will just get a bonus of intensity basically without any other penalty. This technically counts as a penalty because normally this would make the ride too intense for anyone to want to ride, but in a scenario where guests prefer more intense rides, this is the best thing you can do. And you don't have to do it with um, a launched coaster. It's just a lot easier for me to demonstrate if I do it this way. Um, so you can have, for example, like a huge hill and then a drop and then just make an unbanked curve um, at the speed it's traveling at. Which... Uh, I could have a look at the ride and see the exact speed it's, uh, speed it's traveling at, but it's traveling... It's going, it's doing a small bank turn at approximately 61 k's, approximately 60 k's. Um, if not, you just trial and error. It's a lot easier to do with a shuttle launch design like this, but um, that's literally it. So if you're wondering how to get more intense rides without like mass penalty, just make sure your max lateral G is between 2.8 and 3.1 and everyone's going to ride it. In fact, let's just quickly open up the park. Let's make the park free 
and you'll see that this ride will be popular once people enter it. Guests coming in now. Of course, we've got to open this up. And connect some pop. You see, they all go on it. Because they like high-intensity rides. And actually, you'll see, if you look, I tell you their preferred ride intensity more than 9. More than 9. Pretty crazy. But yeah, this is good enough, apparently, for these guys.